Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, Lanatan, Kal Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Chakodash, which means to give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Natal Mashana Kabah La Hazikarim Shai, that's Allah, which means give the bonus to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach and who wear. Shalom Wa Ahab La Habachaya Shai, that's Allah. Which means peace and love to the lake of Israel. And come back again to the spirit power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Recha Kodash, on the Buddha Adna, from Jimmy's Memphis camp. Unless it's going to be pretty much going to um, repent, you know, and be born again. So, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying to the lake. So, I'm going to start with the book of Ephesians 4 and um, 4. It said, There is one body and one spirit. Even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. So it's one of everything. You, not many ways, you know, different avenues for you can um, be born again, man. It's only one Lord, and, and his name is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. One faith, which is the truth now. This one baptism is what? The baptism of Yahweh by Hashem, Shai. You know, baptizing us with, with what the holy um, uh, with fire. It's good to say, man. You see, so let's get on John three. And um, I started one. There was a man of, a, of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High, for no man can do these miracles. That thou doest except the most I be with him. Yahweh shall answer and said, Verily, it's like Yahweh shall answer, say unto him, Verily, verily, meaning truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the most I. So you got to be born again. Nigga, the means said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? So Nicodemus is uh, uh, speaking carnally, you know. He ain't really spiritually about it. So Yahweh shall answer, Very, very, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So you got to be born of the spirit, man. You see? Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. The wind blow it, where it listed, and thou hears the sound of it, but canst not tell whence it's coming and where it goeth. So it's everyone that born of the Spirit. And what is the Spirit? Look at John 6 and 63. It is the Spirit that quickened it, the flesh profit in nothing. Why? The, the flesh profit in nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are Spirit and they are life. So these words, these scriptures have, you have a small shot word, they are Spirit and they are life. You see, the words will make you born again. You taking heed according to the words. Like it's Psalms 119 and 9. Where will all shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed or two according to thy word. Right? According to what? This word. This one word. This truth. This doctrine. Yeah, but my shy word. So this is how you cleanse your way. This is how you stay pure. You know? By obeying the gospel, man. That's why the Lord said in John 15 to 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Right? This word, you see, which is what? The spirit. They are life. You know? They get Hebrews 10. Let the scripture do a talking. And 26. Is it 26? Bear with me. Let me see. Bear with me. Yeah, Hebrews 10 to 22. It says, uh, Let us draw near with a true heart and a full assurance of faith. Have our hearts, meaning what? Our mind, right? Lob in Hebrew. Have our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water, which is what? The word, Ephesians 4 and 26. <laughs> Man, maybe 5 and 26. Yeah, Ephesians 5, 26, that he may sanctify and cleanse it with the wa washing of water by the word. So this word will cleanse you, will make you holy by taking heed to it, man. 
Because the scripture said, don't be healers of the world only, but be doers also. So in NLT, to make her holy and clean, washed by the cleanser of the most high word. So this word, what cleanses you, will make you born again. You know, you rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. You know, you take off that, going back to Ephesians, the fourth chapter, Ephesians 4 and uh, 22, that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Right, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You being born again, and that you put on the new man, which is after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. So you throw off, you put away that old lifestyle, the bad habits, you know, you walk in contrary to the law, that's commandments. You know, that old nigga, you know, the old slut, whatever, man. You know, you getting tatted up, hairline, shaving your beard off, eating pork, eating seafood, right? Committing adultery, worshiping other guys. You put all that off, you know, and put that away. It said NLT, Ephesians 4, 22, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life. Why, you uh, keeping the traditions of this world? Right, you celebrating Christmas, Easter, so forth and so on. Right, so you throw put throw that away. You put that to the side, and you start worshiping the true way, which is what Yahweh about you, my shot, cause he the way, truth, and life. He said, which is corrupt by the, by lust and deception. Right, which is corrupted by lust and deception, man. Which is ultimately what the flesh. And the scriptures say, Romans eight. This just came to mind. Yeah, Romans 8 and uh, I started uh, 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be cunningly minded is death, right? To be cunningly minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the carnal mind is enmity, with the, is enmity against the Most High. For it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be, right? So walk in the flesh lead to death, you see, because it's not subject to what the law says commandments. you pleasing your flesh, your sinful desires, man. It says, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high. Why can you not please in Yahweh the most high if you walk in the flesh? You see, so you got to stay walking in the spirit. And the, and the scriptures say that, right? When we jump down to 13, I started 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh, for if you live after the flesh, you should die. But if you do the, do the spirit, do mortify the deeds of the body, you should live. So walking in the flesh, you're going to die. You see, so if for you live by it dictates, you will die. But if but if through the power of the spirit, you put to death the deeds of the sinful flesh, you will live, man. Let me get this done. I'm going to say a feasible, but let me see something. Walk in the spirit. Now I get ready to end it. Galatians, Galatians 5 and 16. This, this I say then, walk in the Spirit. And what's the Spirit? The Word, John 6 and 63. And you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Exactly. So, uh, Galatians 5 25. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit, which is what the Word. Right? So, right, that pretty much it. You know what? Let's go to Acts 2 and um, I started 36. It said, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that the Most High have made that same Yahweh Shah, whom you have crucified, both Lord and Hamashach. Right? The house of Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Blacks, Spanish, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And wherever Israel has been scattered to due to the curses that make look like the other nations, we make up the house of Israel. We are the Most High chosen people, a special people unto Himself. So 37, now, when they heard this, they were pricking their heart, right, pricking their mind, cut, because it was the Hebrews 4 and 12, the word of the Most High is, is quick and powerful, you know. It said, and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, man and brother, what should we do, right? What's the next, what's the next step since we had done this? What should we do now? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, right? Repent and be baptized, in the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach for the remissions of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Exactly. So that's the that's the next step. You know, repent and be born again. The Lord said, "Those um Sabbath." So 
So Acts 17 and 24, but unto them that repent, he granted them with time and comfort those that fell in patience. And guess what? We are worthy of punishment. We're all worthy of death. We all falling short of the glory thereof. You see? But unto them that repent, he granted mercy, man. He comforted us. You know, and only a small women is repenting. And we got to stay in the repentant mindset daily. And I'm speaking of myself first and foremost. It said 25, return to the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayers before his face and offend less. And that's the thing. You want to offend less, you know, to the best of your ability. And that's come by what? Rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. Go on um, rehearsing, practice, make perfect. Judges 5, 11. So what, what are we rehearsing? It's the righteous acts to keep in the law of and commandments. To the best of your ability, man. You see? It said, Turn again to the most high and turn away from iniquity. Right, depart from evil and do good, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate that abomination vehemently. So I'm going to jump to Jeremiah real quick. Jeremiah 4 and 14. O Jerusalem, wash thou heart from wickedness. Right, wash your heart from wickedness, man. That thou mayst be saved. Right, so repent and be born again so you can be safe. You see? If not, you're going to die in your sins, as the Lord said in uh, Luke 13 and 5. So, O oh, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And they're speaking to who? The so-called Negroes, blessed Spanish, Latinos, and Native American Indians. They're telling us to do what? Wash our heart for wickedness, man. You know? That thou mayest be saved. How long should thy vain thoughts lodge when in thee? Why, so how long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity, as the scriptures say, man? And all you got to do is what? Repent and come back unto him. The Lord said, why will you die, O house of Israel? And all you got to do is obey my voice. You see? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. Once again, I want to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechah Kodash, the bondage to the apostles and elders of great minister who teach and will wear peace and love to the elect of the nation of Israel. With that, Shalom, Kormash, Allah, Baba.